they banned hugs <laughs> when I was in like seventh grade. So you weren't allowed to give your friends hugs when you left school. What? And, like one time I hugged one of my friends before she went to get like one of her surgeries, and I got sent to the fucking office for <laughs> hugging her. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about middle school and how weird my middle school was. But I was just thinking about like my middle school and all the weird rules and stuff and it was literally like a cult. At the time, I didn't really think about it or think anything of it. To me, it was just normal. But now that I think about it and all the weird stuff, that happened in middle school, it's just so weird to me. So I wanted to share some of those things with you. If any of you guys have a similar experience with your school where you went, then let me know in the comments because I'm really interested, especially those of you who live in other countries, what your guys' middle school and like rules and how strict they were. I'd like to know, so let me know in the comments. One really weird thing about middle school, I don't know if they're all like this, but at my middle school, everyone was forced to either take band or choir. And I just thought that was really weird because I didn't want to take band or choir because I have absolutely no musical talent whatsoever. And I had no interest in learning an instrument, so I didn't want to take band. And then the thought of singing in front of people gives me anxiety, so I did not want to take choir either. So it really just stressed me out that I had to choose one to take. And I ended up taking choir and I ended up liking it and doing choir like up until high school. But still, it just gave me so much anxiety. And why are you forced to take a music class? Another thing that was really weird about middle school, this was around the time when everyone started to get cell phones. I know now like five-year-olds have cell phones and like iPhones and iPads and stuff. But back in my day, which makes me sound like I'm a grandpa, but this was literally like seven years ago when people just started getting cell phones and texting was just starting to become like popular. In middle school, they were really strict about cell phones and I don't know how it is now, but back then at my middle school, we were forced to keep our cell phones turned off inside of our lockers. And if our cell phone went off inside of our locker and someone heard it, they were allowed to open up our locker and take the cell phone to the office and then one of our parents would have to come and pick it up. And I remember I had the Voyager, which right now probably looks really ratchet to you, but at the time nobody really used iPhones. So I had a Voyager, which was like a touchscreen phone, which was a big deal at the time. Touchscreen was new technology, apparently. And most people were basic and they just had an NV2 and I had a Voyager because I was so cool. But it was like a bigger phone, which again, it looks tiny compared to my phone now. But at the time it was a bigger phone and I would always carry it around with me and like use it in class because I was stupid and rebellious. I know I'm such a badass using my cell phone in class in middle school. Who did I think I was? I used my phone in class and the teacher saw me and took my phone and took it to the office and then my mom had to come get my phone. Like you can't just take my cell phone and then force my parent to come get it for me, like it's my phone. We were supposed to have our phones turned off in our lockers, like it's a freaking dictatorship or something. I don't know, I just thought that was so weird. And there were also like just small stupid rules, like we weren't allowed to wear hats in middle school because apparently they become a distraction. I don't know how a hat is distracting to anyone, but we were not allowed to wear hats. I think I tried wearing a hat and I like wasn't allowed to and we had certain days where it was like hat day and we were allowed to wear a hat that day and it was like a big deal and <laughs> I don't know it was just so weird like why can't I wear a hat why are you controlling what I can wear and we also weren't allowed to chew gum which I guess is kind of reasonable because middle schoolers are obviously really immature and they'll just like spit out their gum everywhere but I would like people I remember people would chew gum and like try to get away with it and not get caught and there were times where I'd be chewing gum and people would tell on me. People would literally tell the teacher that I am chewing gum. This next one, oh my god, this is so funny. At the time, I was so embarrassed that this happened, but now that I look back at it, it's just the stupidest thing ever. Basically, in eighth grade, towards the end of the year, I had a girlfriend and we were holding hands. It was at like lunch, but we were walking to go outside for a recess or whatever. 
and we were holding hands. Apparently it was too much PDA for middle school for us to hold hands in the hallway, which this was eighth grade. Like a year later, people in high school are making out and feeling each other up in the hallways, but holding hands is like rated X in middle school apparently. So one of the para pros at lunch saw us holding hands and we got sent to the office and for the rest of lunch, we had to sit in the office on opposite ends of the room because we were holding hands. What do you mean? And also another stupid rule at lunch is everyone like obviously sits at a table. We could sit wherever we wanted, but I remember I had like multiple friend groups because I was popular AF in middle school, obviously. So I would like move to different tables throughout lunch and sit with different people because all my friends sat in different places and I would literally get in trouble like the pair pros would yell at me because they were like you're standing up too much like you can't switch tables that much you're moving around way too much blah 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 if you keep moving around I'm gonna send you to the office like they were telling me that I couldn't stand up and walk to a different table during lunch another rule that to me is really stupid in my middle schools we weren't allowed to eat snacks in class and I guess this was just weird to me because in high school we could eat in class and the teacher wouldn't care. And I mean like any snack, like you couldn't have like candy or anything in class. But in high school you could literally bring like a meal to class and the teacher wouldn't care. But I remember at one time in my science class I brought like these little Smarties, like one of those small packages. I had them on my lap and I was eating them trying to be sneaky. Okay, so you're just gonna go inside. You're just gonna go inside now, okay. My camera stopped recording, but we're all good now. Anyways, I was in class with Smarties on my lap and I was trying to be sneaky and eat them without the teacher seeing. I don't know how I was going to get away with it or how I thought I was going to because I sat like in the front of the class. I, I was stupid, but I was trying to eat Smarties and be sneaky AF about it. And of course the teacher sees me eating the Smarties and he made me throw them all away. You're just gonna make me throw away my Smarties? Why can't I eat candy in your class? Why are you being rude to me, my 12 year old self? Out of control. Uh... Another really crazy thing to me about middle school was how strict they were about you talking in class. Like, in high school, you could kind of talk in class and it wouldn't really matter. He's, like, inside of me right now and I just, just get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, it just blew my mind how strict they were about you talking in class. Like, even if it was, like, independent work time where you're just kind of working on homework or whatever, you weren't really allowed to talk to each other in class. Of course, it depends on the teacher, but for some reason, everyone was, like, a hard ass about talking. And I would always get in trouble. I don't know what happened in middle school. I was like really social, apparently. But now you would never catch me getting in trouble for talking, of all things. But in middle school, I would always get in trouble for talking in class, even if it like wasn't when the teacher was talking. I would get sent to the office for talking. Like, I, this happened multiple times. And I don't understand why aren't we allowed to talk? I'm like a 12 year old, let me talk to my friends. Let me live my life. Why do you want me to hate everything? And one last thing that I thought was really weird is for some reason in middle school, they wanted to force us to read more. So for a while, there were like certain days where they would force us at a certain time to go to our homeroom class and we would have to have a book that we could read and they would force us to read in our homeroom for like 20 or 30 minutes. And if we didn't have a book, we would have to choose a book that the teacher had in our classroom. And we all had to like sit in silence and read for like 30 minutes. And I don't know, it's just so weird how much we were controlled in middle school. Like, why are you forcing us to read? Because in reality, I was sitting next to my friends passing notes pretending to read. Why do you think I'm gonna read for 30 minutes when you're just gonna force me to do that? Like, no. No, that's not gonna happen. Sorry. But yeah, that's basically everything that I can think of for now. I'm sure I could think of more things if I took the time to. Maybe I could make like a part two to this. But it's just so weird to me how in middle school there were all these strict rules and they just try to control everything and make you so miserable. And at the time, none of this was weird to me. I was just like, wow, I'm just such a rule breaker. Like having my phone on and 
wanting to wear a hat and eating candy in class. Let me know in the comments if your guys' middle schools were that strict. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week and check out my social media. The links to those will be in the description below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Where is he? Why is he hiding? He just wanted to hide from you guys this entire video. I thought it would be funny to have him on my shoulder for the video, but he just wants to run away from you guys. Why do you do this? Why do you do this to them? They banned hugs <laughs> when I was in like seventh grade, so you weren't allowed to give your friends hugs when you left school. What? And like one time I hugged one of my friends before she went to get like one of her surgeries, and I got sent to the fucking office for <laughs> hugging her. Why did and they like, ban hugs? What the fuck? What? I don't know. They're trying to, like, make you into, like, an emotionless, like, just dead inside. Like, they want you to feel nothing in middle school. Yeah, we had, and, like, our, um, like, we weren't allowed to talk in the hallways. Like, the teachers would stand outside, and we weren't allowed to talk in the hallway.